Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, this first tutorial is going to be on the uh, title block, and I'm actually going to do this in two parts. So part one will be laying out the basic size um, and the basic uh, putting in some of the static text information on the title block, and then part two is going to be um, adding in the tags and the shared parameters. So we're going to have to use shared parameters for this uh, title block, and I'll explain kind of what shared parameters are and what they're used for and then um, how to put them into the project. So to start out, so let's go to our handout um, in uh, on Blackboard and so this is our title block here. This is kind of what it's going to look like. Um, we're going to use a 24 by 36 title block and then we're going to lay it out. So these are going to be basic some some pretty basic lines putting on there and then uh, we're going to start adding some static text which is basically just kind of headings for the title, project name, project number, issue date, those sorts of things. Then we're going to add tags in there, and tags are basically going to be little those little parts of the title block that you click, and you can fill out the information, and it loads it into the family, um, and it kind of uh, propagates that to all the other uh, title blocks in the in the project. So, all right. So let's to get started. What we're going to do is uh, let's get to the kind of the start screen for Revit. All right, so to start this thing out, what we're going to do is we're going to do go a new family. So our title blocks are all families. So I'm going to go to new. And what I'm looking for is I've got a couple templates here for title blocks. So I'm going to go to title blocks. And we're looking for this D20, uh, I'm sorry, this D36 by 24. All right, so I'm going to open that up. All right. And all that's basically going to be is just a big rectangular um, just a series of four lines, and it, you'll see that it, if you measure it, that it actually comes out to be actually 36 by tw uh, 24 by 36. All right, so this is basically what we're going to start off with, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save this real quick. All right, so I'm going to just say save, and you can just hit save. You don't have to do a save as; it automatically goes to save as. But um, uh, what it's it's programmed to basically not save over your templates, so it always preserves your templates. So it's going to save this one as an RFA or a Revit family file. So I'm going to call this uh, Brett's title block. Okay, and then hit save. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start laying out some of the lines. If you've seen title blocks, and they basically have a series of lines that kind of organize all the uh, information, um, and there's a little border usually around the edge. So what I'm going to do for that is I go to the Create tab, and I'm going to use my line command. All right, so select the line command here, and you'll see it just looks like your your typical um, uh, detail line from uh, Revit when you're doing like detailing and things like that. You've got your basic draw commands, same as usual. Uh, then you've got subcategories where you can actually pick the uh, type of line that you want to use. So you can use an invisible line, medium lines, thin lines, or wide lines, and then this other line called title blocks. All right, so let's go back to our handout, and we're just going to follow along here. These are basically the dimensions here that we're going to put. All right, so all these lines here, see this little border around the edge, and then all this information over here to the uh, to the right-hand side, that is going to be all just uh, just line information. So let me, I'm just actually going to pull this over to the other screen so that I can see them both. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, let's go ahead and use a wide line for that border. All right, so the border is a one is one inch from the edge, so i got to offset one inch from the edge. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the rectangular command, and I'm going to go one inch for my offset. So I'm on the options bar, go one inch. And I'm just going to basically create a rectangle from the outside corner to the outside corner. Now notice it's it's offsetting to the outside, but if I just hit the space bar, it flips it to the inside. So that basically gets me my um, my border. Alright, so just use the rectangle command with a one inch offset to f invert the offset to the inside, I just hit um, I just hit the space bar. And I use wide lines for that one. Yeah, I'm sorry. Where, where's the wide lines? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, go to create lines. And then you've got your subcategories here, and then pick pick wide lines from there. Okay. Yeah. No, inside. Hit the space bar and it'll invert it. Yeah. Okay. So then my next set series is going to be a um, a line going vertically two and a half inches away from that one inch border. Now for these lines, I'm just going to use my uh, medium lines. All right. And this one I'm going to use pick lines. 
All right, so I go medium lines, pick lines. I'm going to change my offset to two and a half inches. Oops. Okay. And pick lines there. All right, so I've got my, uh, this is my title block over here. And I'm going to put in another series of lines. Um, and I'm basically just following off of that handout. And let's just go to pick lines and an offset. So this first one is two and a half inches down. All right, so that's two and a half inches down. And I'm just going to pick that line. I'm going to just slide this endpoint over to line up with that edge there. All right, so that's two and a half inches. Let's go back to create line, medium lines. I'm going to use the pick line draw tool. And the next one is six inches down. Okay, the next one after that is five and a half inches down. So change that to five and a half. All right, then the next one is five inches down. Okay, and then the one after that is one inch. And then after that, it's a half an inch. And then there should be an inch and a half after that. So let's just measure that real quick. Yep. All right, so this is basically um, the, kind of the boundaries of that, uh, that title block. And so what you're going to have in here is when we're finished is that, like up here, you would put um, the architect seal, you know, up here. This would be your firm logo or you know information on your firm there, um, and then this is be the revisions section over here. Then this is kind of the area down here would be the sheet number, scale, drawing title, and then some of this other information there. So feel free if you guys want to for the firm where this area here, the space right here, where you'd put your firm logo. If you guys have one or something you've created in another class, or just make up your own fictitious uh, architecture firm, if you want to put that in there or something like that, or even your own name. That'd be fine uh, for this project. So, um, so feel free to do that. And then, so the next thing that we're gonna do is then put in what are what I'm calling static text. This is basically the, the when I um, like when you have tags, you can click on the double click on the tag and you can fill out information on the tag, and then it puts that on every sheet. The static text um, that I'm referring to is just this text that doesn't do really anything. It's just text that's gonna sit there and do nothing. Um, and oops, let me scroll to it on our handout. All right, so this stuff here, so this the project name, project number, issue date, and then what we're going to do later is then inside here we're going to put a tag, and that's going to be where you click in there, and then you fill out the project name. So this is my static text, so let's put that together right now. All right, so per the handout, what we want to do is we're going to create, um, we're going to use a series of just plain old text, so using just the text command here, and we're going to use one eighth inch um, Arial text for those uh, those spots there, all caps. All right, so I'm going to go in here, and let me think here. What was the first one? Project, project name. All right, so I'm going to go to my uh, text command. So I go to create and then text. All right, yeah, one eighth inch. Let's text see this. I just got for by default. I've got just um, yeah, quarter inch. So we're going to have to create a new new uh, text um, style here, or a new type for that. So to do that, it's basically we're just like we create new doors and new windows um, and things like that. We're going to go to edit type. All right, so I'm going to start with this text note one. So edit type, and I'm going to say duplicate, and I'm just going to call this uh, one eighth inch Arial. Okay, and then hit OK, and then all I got to do to fit to change that to one eighth inch Arial is down here where it says text size. It says quarter of an inch. Let's change that to eighth inch. All right, and then hit OK. All right, so now I'm ready to kind of put that stuff in there. So let's just kind of drop it in. So project name, oops, all caps, sorry. All right, and I'll just put a semicolon at the end. Yeah, project name. All right, and I'm just going to, um, you could spend some time, you know, with, with uh, reference planes and things like that. Uh, aligning all that kind of stuff, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to eyeball it here. So let's put it here. 
The other thing too is that I found that um, when you offset these about five sixteenths, that leaves enough space for that uh, that tag. Uh, question? You had a question? Oh, what's your computer? Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these five sixteenths apart, and it looks like in total I'm going to need one, two, well, one, two, three, four, five, five of them. Okay, so what I do is I'm going to copy, all right, and then five sixteenths. That doesn't look enough. Okay, let's go five eighths. Sorry, let's try five eighths. That doesn't look far enough at all. Okay, so let me go copy, select kind of a base point, go down five eighths, and then hit enter. All right. Yeah. So okay, so you select the object. You go copy, then pick a base point anywhere you want. It doesn't really matter. So click down here, and then this basically is telling it how far you want to move down. So I'm going to just type in 5 eighths. Okay. The other way to do this is with the array command, but let me, I'm just going to do this with uh, with just uh, the off the move command. Okay, so then what do we have here? So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, got a little bit more. Well, maybe five eighths was a little short. Um, I guess you could go instead of five eighths. I'll just go to three quarters of an inch. I'll try that. Oh yeah, you have to do it independently. Okay. So once you get those guys in there, and then actually I'm going to fill in a couple of these other ones down here. I've also got uh, sheet name, scale, and sheet number. So let me do that. All right. So let me copy another one down. And again, what I'm doing, I'm not actually kind of aligning it with anything. I'm just kind of uh, placing it in there and then just kind of fine-tune it. You can kind of fine-tune the location of some of these things by selecting it. And then on your keyboard, using your arrow keys, you can kind of just tap your arrow keys to kind of move it down or move it up or something like that. If you just want to kind of move it just slightly. Okay, so the next step after that is to go back in and edit each one of these uh, so that it matches what we're doing on the um, assignment handout here. All right, so it's going to be project name, project number, issue date, drawn by, checked by, file name, so on and so forth. So let me move this over to the other screen, and I'll just start editing that text. All right, so project number. All right, this is issue date. All right, then after issue date, it's drawn by. All right, then checked by. and then file name. All right, this is going to be sheet name. Oops.
and I'm just going to move that up to the top. Okay, so at this point you should have uh, just your static text and your title block, so you have your boundary of your title block, then you've got these lines on the inside to kind of uh, uh, categorize all this text information in your title block, and then uh, you should have your static text basically placed in your title block. So then the next step that we're going to do in part two is add in uh, the tags and then add in, um, there's a couple of them that we're going to have to make sh out of uh, shared parameters. And um, I'll show you how to do shared parameters and then we'll have to load that into our uh, project file. So that'll be part two.